In this video, we are going to see how to take the values from query params in MuleSoft. So in order to do that, I'll just quickly create a simple project, Mule project. I'll name this project as query param demo. I'll click finish. So, th so this query parameter will come as part of your HTTP request. So in order to receive the HTTP request, we will add the HTTP listener. And I'll just configure the listener configuration with the default port. I have given a connector configuration with the default port 8081. And here the path I'll just give hello, which is my endpoint. And then I'm going to extract the variable from the query parameters. In order to do that, I'll just add some set variable. I'm going to create that as a variable, whatever it's coming from my source. I'm going to retrieve some name value. And then you just click this expression mode. So normally query parameter, it will come in a attribute section of the mule event. So you select attributes and then you give query params dot name of the query parameter. For example, I'm giving like a employee name. So this is the employee name. I'm going to send it from my query parameter. So whatever I'm going to get it in employee name, I'm going to assign to this name field. And then whatever I received from the query parameter, I wanted to store and I wanted to show how that is coming. So I'll just add a logger and I'll say, say I'll add the messages. My name is and then as as symbol and then I'll add this is there in variable, right? Variable dot name because that's the variable name I used it. If you go and see here, the variable name is name only and what value we are assigning to name, we are taking it from the query parameter and query parameter name is employee name. So now I have done all the required thing at my project in order to take the employee name. So I'll just run this project. So now the project is coming up. So meanwhile, I'll just go and uh, open my postman where I'm going to give local host colon 8081. And then we have given a endpoint as hello. And then I'm going to give employee of we have to in order to give a query parameter, you have to give a question mark. And then you have to give a field name. For example, we gave it like employee name. And then I'll say Arul. And I'll come and see my project is deployed or not. So it's coming up. And in the set variable, query parameter name, I gave it as employee name, EMP name. So that's what I gave here, EMP name equal to Arul. Now, the project is still initializing. So once we see the deployed message, we will run it from Postman. Basically, we are going to send some request to our Mule application. Now the application is deployed. I'll just go and send some request with the employee name equal to Arul. See here, the status is 200, which means our Mule application has received the request. And I'll just go and see the logger value. See the logger, my name is Arul. So how this Arul is coming? This is coming from our query parameter. This is coming from our variable. See here, whatever it came from the query parameter, employee EMP name that got assigned to name, and that's the one we are printing in the logger. So what we have seen today, how to extract the query parameter value in MuleSoft. And, uh, and once we extracted it, then we can use it in a upcoming flow. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.